Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video on Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. Now today, Realme also has launched some phones and yes guys, finally it has launched its much anticipated Realme GT2 series. Now I've been waiting for this ever since my trip to the Snapdragon Tech Summit in Hawaii back in December 2021 and I tell you guys this Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset is insane and although it scored over a million in my anti to benchmark score in my recent video on the Red Magic 7 the reads on these two flagship smartphones are interesting too. Now here we have the Realme GT2 and the Realme GT2 Pro one of which comes with the Snapdragon 888 chipset and the other the GT2 Pro comes with the super hot Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. There's plenty of new and unique world's first features on the GT2 Pro and Realme sure has nailed it with the GT2 and the GT2 Pro. Now younger than most smartphone brands out there, Realme is rapidly growing and is currently regarded as one of the top 5 smartphone brands out there. The Realme GT2 Pro is its first high-end flagship smartphone and I'm super impressed with what I have in front of me. In this video, I'll be sharing and comparing all the specs and features of both these fantastic and unique flagship smartphones. We'll check out what's the same and what's different and what's missing. We'll compare some camera samples, compare gaming, Antutu, Geekbench, CPU Z DRM info and Wi-Fi speed tests a bit of 4K streaming and of course guys we'll summarise the video with Leah's pros and niggles on both the phones and you guys can hopefully decide which if any of the two is your preferred smartphone. If you want to see what's in the box then be sure to check out my unboxing of the Realme GT2 and the GT2 Pro on my YouTube Shorts, IG Reels and Stories. I may be sharing a more detailed review and other comparison videos on both these phones soon so do stick around and now guys check out the specs for both the realme gt2 and the realme gt2 pro on the screen in front of you firstly we'll talk about what the two phones have in common followed by what's different both look almost identical. The Realme GT2 Pro on my left and the Realme GT2 on my right. And on the rear guys, you can see we have beautiful textured finish. Now both the Realme GT2 and GT2 Pro come in these really unique colors called paper white. And the ones here in front of me is what Realme calls the paper green color. Um, and it's the biopolymer material designed by Realme Design Studio and Naoto Fukasawa who is a world-renowned Japanese industrial designer. Now giving us this really nice paper look and feel I absolutely love it. I love the texture and I think it's my new favourite on any smartphone. It's a bit like that sage green we had on the Pixel 5 but a much much better version. This feels so good. I love the design on both absolutely beautiful color beautiful finish and beautiful design on both both feel so good in the hand i actually really like both of these phones i mean i can use one as my daily driver and second as my maybe my second phone or my spare phone now what's different guys as you can see the camera bumps are very similar but somewhat different too can you spot the difference the camera lenses on the Realme GT2 Pro are closer, whereas the camera lenses um, have a bit of a gap on the Realme GT2. On the right, both phones have a power button. On the left, we have a volume rocker. Now we have a single volume rocker on the Realme GT2 Pro, as you guys can see. And here on the Realme GT2, the volume rocker is slightly different. So volume up and volume down buttons separately. On the top, both have mics. At the bottom, both look almost identical. So we have a mic, USB Type-C port and the bottom firing speakers. The second set of speakers, so these are dual speakers, so the second set of speakers are here, up here, built in the earpiece. And here on the top left of the uh, display we have the punch hole selfie cameras. And just in case you guys are wondering what these are, here, here, on the Realme GT2 Pro. Guys, these are the antenna lines that I mentioned earlier. So the Realme GT2 Pro has all the antenna lines going all the way around the phone. Another noticeable difference, guys, the fingerprint scan on the Realme GT2 is here at the bottom, whereas here on the Realme GT2 Pro, it's slightly elevated from the bottom, not in the center, 
but just below the center and both fingerprint scanners work perfectly fine flawlessly very fast very nippy unlike some that i've experienced on some flagship smartphones maybe you guys can comment below on which specific one i may be talking about both phones support up to 12 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM and 256 gigabytes ROM. As for the cooling system, guys, yes, both these phones have a stainless steel vapor cooling plus system. The difference is the GT2 has an eight layer cooling structure, whilst the GT2 Pro has a nine layer cooling structure. Both phones come with a massive 5,000 milliamp battery and both have an in-box 65 watt super dark fast charger. Yes guys, the battery is insane and so is the charging system. I managed to achieve a 0 to 100% charge in around 30 minutes and the battery has lasted me sometimes a day and a half, maybe a little bit more. And this is following lots of gaming, streaming, downloading apps and games, etc. And I'm still left with a bit of juice the following day. So fantastic battery life and very fast charging speeds both the realme gt2 and the gt2 pro support bluetooth version 5.2 nfc and dual sim 5g and unfortunately neither of the phones have expandable storage options um guys but i'm not complaining as what we do have is plenty of storage and ram on the phone so i'm not too fussed about that as for audio both phones support dual stereo speakers which are dolby atmos and have high res certification and provide a super loud crisp and enhanced audio experience on both Hey guys, welcome back to Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. And ladies and gents, Hey guys, welcome back to Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. And ladies and gents, The GT2 is at the bottom and the GT2 Pro at the top. Uh, audio from the GT2. <laughs> of work for a four minute flight testing out the audio on the gt2 pro hello buzz yeah. i am socks your personal companion robot and both these smartphones come with the latest realme ui 3.0 based on android 12 it's the latest version of realme skins which brings us several exciting updated and new features a fluid design and minimal bugs and bloatware now guys, that was everything the two smartphones have in common. So now moving on to what's different. The Realme GT2 weighs at 194 grams and 8.6 millimeters thick, whereas the GT2 Pro in comparison is slightly slimmer and lighter at 8.2 millimeters thick and 189 grams light. As for the displays, both are different. So the GT2 supports a 6.62 inch e4 amoled display and in comparison the realme gt2 pro has a 6.7 inches 2k wqhd plus resolution 1440 by 3216 pixels 525 ppi 1400 nits maximum brightness which is an lpto high quality screen which has a 5 million to 1 contrast ratio 100 p3 color gamut and 10240 brightness levels both the realme gt2 and the realme gt2 pro have 1000 Hertz touch sampling and up to 120 Hertz adaptive refresh rate. And another thing on the display, guys, the Realme GT2 has Gorilla Glass 5 protection, whereas in comparison, the Realme GT2 Pro has Corning Gorilla Glass Victus protection, which is obviously superior to the Gorilla Glass 5. Uh, moving on to the processor, again, different processors, guys. Both support GT Mode 3.0. However, the Realme GT2 comes with the Snapdragon 888 5G 2.8 GHz 5 nanometer chipset. And the Realme GT2 Pro comes with the latest flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 5G 3.0 GHz chipset. As for the difference in connectivity, the Realme GT2 supports HyperSmart antenna switching and Wi-Fi 5 GHz, whereas the GT2 Pro supports Realme Antenna Array Matrix System, again check out the information for it on the screen in front of you, and Wi-Fi 6. 
as for the cooling system um, and heat dissipation slightly different on the two the realme gt2 pro has stainless steel vapor cooling plus and an eight layer cooling structure and in comparison the realme gt2 pro has a stainless steel vapor cooling max system and a nine layer cooling structure and last but not least moving on to the cameras and the differences between the two we have a triple camera setup on the rear of the realme gt2 which consists of a 50 megapixel primary camera with sony imx 766 flagship sensor optical image stabilization and electronic image stabilization we also have a 119 degree super wide 8 megapixel camera and a 4 centimeter 2 megapixel macro camera it supports video in 4k 60 frames per second max and we have a 32 megapixel selfie punch hole camera here at the top left and it records video in 1080p resolution max now moving on to the realme gt2 pro we have a 50 megapixel sony imx 766 ois primary camera a 50 megapixel 150 degree ultra wide camera and a 40x macro lens As for video, it records in 8K 24 frames per second max, although I do prefer recording in 4K 60 frames per second. We have a selfie punch hole camera here on the top left, which takes pictures in 16 megapixels and records video in 1080p resolution max. And both phones support some fantastic camera modes, including street mode, night mode, portrait, slow mode, time lapse, etc. I love the new 150 degree mode on the Realme GT2 Pro, and the street mode also sounds really cool. I will be testing out this mode and sharing more on it in an upcoming video. Now check out some comparison samples and some standalone pictures on the screen in front of you. We have fantastic camera setups on both. There's so much colour, contrast and sharpness in these pictures. The pictures and footage in low light are not too bad either. Somewhat grainy but not bad at all. Now watch me game in the highest settings on both these fantastic smartphones playing um, Call of Duty on the Realme GT2 Pro in very high uh, graphic quality and the max frame rate possible so here set on max and the and the graphic quality is set on very high so let's go guys
beautiful, beautiful, smooth gameplay, guys. Honestly, I'm so enjoying playing gaming on this. Or I'm so enjoying the gameplay on this um, fantastic Realme GT2 Pro smartphone. It's not heating up at all. I've been playing on this phone for hours now. Um, I've been taking photos, videos. I've downloaded many apps, games, uh, run the anti to test, etc. And it doesn't seem to slow down, jitter, lag or anything. Just me being silly when playing, actually. Oh! Oh! Alright, I'm gonna stop now. Now, a bit of Asphalt 9 on the Realme GT2 Pro. That was some awesome, awesome gameplay on both these phones. To be honest, I've not experienced any heat up or jitter or lag or slow down on either of the phones. Both phones played Asphalt 9 fantastically, if, if that's even a word. Um, honestly, incredible gaming experience on both phones so far. Now, check out some 4K screening. And guys, now let's move on to some Antutu Geekbench and Wi-Fi speed tests. I will speed up the video because obviously you don't want to be here all day just watching all of this so I'll speed up the video and we'll get right to the point. Guys you can see the scores for yourselves we have a fantastic 943,000 Antutu benchmark score on the Realme GT2 Pro and a very decent and very high score on the a Realme GT2 also we have 851,683 on the Realme GT2 so the Realme GT2 Pro has scored slightly higher in the anti to benchmark scores I mean both scores are very high and incredible and guys you can see the temperatures for both phones I have run a couple of tests I've gamed a little bit on it today as well I've been downloading apps etc and the number then I've gone and run the anti to benchmark test as well so 44.7 um, the temperatures are pretty reasonable Let's check out the Geek Benchmark score, shall we? And here we have the Geek Benchmark results, guys. On the right, we have the Realme GT2 Pro, and on the left, we have the Realme GT2. And as you guys can see, we have some fantastic single and multi core scores on both these phones very similar as well so we have 1243 in single core and 3191 in multi-core scores on the realme gt2 pro and 1138 and th in single and 3368 in multi-core scores on the realme gt2 in my opinion guys the snapdragon 8 gen 1 chipset it's powerful it's very powerful very fast very nippy but the snapdragon 888 chipset is not far off as you guys can see the proof is in the pudding we've done a geek benchmark and we've done an antutu and both scores are very high very similar and not far off from one another so as you guys can see if we were to compare the scores the realme gt2 and the realme gt2 pro are killing the samsung galaxy s21 the poco f3 etc let's check out some wi-fi speed tests the first is the realme gt2 pro and now let's run the Wi-Fi speed test on the Realme GT2. Okay guys, so as you can see again, the Wi-Fi speed 
test results are very similar. We have 65 megabits per second download speed and 20.6 megabits per second upload speed here in the Realme GT2 Pro and 64.1 download speed and 19.8 megabits per second upload speed on the Realme GT2 smartphone. So very similar Wi-Fi speeds on both these smartphones. Let's have a quick look at the DRM info on both these phones. CPU Z. And now guys, let's wrap up the video with Leah's pros and niggles. Let's get the niggles out the way. We have no IP rating, um, some splash proof or something would have been nice, especially from a flagship smartphone. And as I really like the Realme GT2 Pro and wouldn't mind switching to it as my daily driver. But unfortunately, as I tend to carry my phone everywhere with me, including the shower, now no IP rating means I may be using it as my second phone and see how I get on with it. We have no headphone jack, we have no wireless charging, I mean personally this does not bother me too much as wired is my preferred method of charging. We do not have Netflix available from the Play Store, now this may be due to some licensing issues, again I'm not too fussed. And guys, some of you may say we do not have a premium build for a flagship smartphone i mean we do not have a glass back but honestly guys i personally do not mind i actually love the design and build of this phone and i prefer this very unique paperback finish now both phones are fantastic in my opinion one slightly faster smoother and prettier than the other and on which note we'll look at all the pros i can think of um, on both these smartphones now we have the world's first 2k amoled flat display with ltpo 2.0 technology on the realme gt2 pro and it's gorgeous so stunning and offers incredible immersive image quality a 100 p3 color gamut and 525 ppi ensures great image quality and great accuracy on the realme gt2 pro and to my knowledge this ladies and gents is greater than any smartphone screen i've used before we have 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate on both smartphones which is much welcomed the realme gt2 pro is protected by victor's glass which is corning's toughest gorilla glass realme claims that this phone can handle drops from high as two meters um now i wouldn't dare try this but for your info this protection is twice the scratch resistance of Gorilla Glass 6 for example. Realme and the creators of these phones have created these phones with the environment in mind which I adore. We have the world's first bio-based polymer smartphone design. This phone not only is environmentally friendly, it sure looks pleasing and durable too. And guys, the unique and striking design is meant to replicate the pattern of paper-based products which I think is a unique and fantastic idea. We have the latest and most powerful Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset in the Realme GT2 Pro, which makes it one of the most powerful phones around. The stainless steel vapor cooling max is PC level heat dissipation solution for mobile devices, which is incredible. This allows for the mega beast of a phone, the Realme GT2 Pro to stay cool and output higher efficiency when put to the test with high end intense graphical games, for example. And as mentioned in my last video in which I tested and reviewed the Red Magic 7 smartphone, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset is so powerful, it is known to heat up. And like the Nubia, Realme 2 has its own solution to ensure the Dragon chip chipset stays cool and it sure has done a fantastic job allowing for sustained peak performance. The 50 megapixel camera sensors on both the phones are fantastic and with the Realme GT2 Pro featuring the world's only 150 degree ultra wide camera and 50 megapixel resolution and 40x ultra microscopic lens and full HD resolution and with some fantastic and new photography modes on both the Realme GT2 and GT2 Pro you photography lovers out there are in for a treat with these phones. The touch sampling rate on both these phones can be boosted to a massive 1000 hertz, which is perfecto, especially for gamers like myself. And guys, the 65 watt super dark charger is super fast and the massive 5000 milliamp battery gives us plenty full of juice. Now, so I can go on and on with the pros. I've mentioned all the niggles I could think of too. Now you guys let me know what you think and if you can think of any more. And guys, the prices for both the phones is the real icing on the cake with the Realme GT2 priced from £449 and the Realme GT2 Pro from £559. You really can't complain. We have flagship, high-end flagship smartphones here. 
for such a mid-range prize. I will leave the links for both these phones in the description box below for you guys to go and check out. Both the phones are packed with so much goodness and have the recipe for an almost perfect high-end flagship smartphone. Mine is the Minor Niggles I mentioned and I believe the Realme GT2 Pro is now the cheapest high-end flagship smartphone money can buy from only £559. Now do share your thoughts on both of these phones. Are any of the two on your Dubai list? Can you think of any other pros and niggles? And guys, I do hope to share some follow-up videos and comparisons on both these fantastic phones. So if you want to see anything specific or have any questions, feel free to fire these in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon too. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to be notified of my upcoming videos, giveaways, etc. And that's me done for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, take care, stay safe. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, what a silly team I have. Yes, MVP, GGG Palia. <laughs> this is so crazy. Tell you guys, I'm having so much fun playing on this phone. Like, more fun. At, it's honestly, oh my god, it's so much easier playing on this phone than it was in Red Magic uh, 7 smartphone. Oh. <laughs> Wake up, problem. Then back up! Alright, cool. Wait for me. Why can't I not move? Oh. Tell you guys, Leah's the real MVP. That's awesome. Okay, so that's enough of uh, gaming on the realme gt2 so now we're going to move on to the realme gt2 pro i swear guys if gaming on the snapdragon 888 chipset has been so crazy good 
I can just imagine how good this um, gaming on the Realme GT2 Pro is going to be. <laughs> As always, 